hello friends welcome to my channel go digit today in this video we will extend our learning of power automate uh, and uh, today uh, what we will do that uh, we will create a custom api page and see whether uh, that page that custom api is available in the power automate or not and if it is available how to configure that thing okay so so far you can see that we have created three three uh, flows for us uh, in which we were doing the integration with teams with sharepoint and we were doing some sort of automation in the business central only okay so now uh, if i open the vs code here you can see that i have uh, already created uh, two objects like one is this table and another one is this sample page so what this object says what these objects are so basically what our requirement is that whenever any new customer gets created in the business central we want to create a log of it like when it gets created what was the number of that customer and so on or like if in case you want to create or enter some more information into this table you can create those fields and play with it right so the data will get inserted here automatically okay via power automate but the thing is because this is the custom object and it's not a part of the base applications and it is not a part of any base api pages so these objects will by default not available in the power automate so to make it available we have to create a api page so let's create an api page for this table and then we will publish the same so let me create a page here with the, the name let's say uh, logs okay let's say cust logs and the table will be customer log the page type will be api okay and as soon as i select the page type as api we get some more fields as well because we need to define them also in case you don't know about the meaning of these fields uh, i have already created a sample a separate video for the api pages where i have explained everything in detail about what is api what are the api pages uh, how to create the api pages for the business central on prem and for the business central on cloud and what is the difference between uh, these two versions and how to access them okay so anyway just quickly provide the publisher so here our publisher will be go digit okay api group will be let's say logs okay the version will be 1.0 only and the entity name will be cust log and entity set name will be cust logs right now click on next and here we have to decide the fields so first of all you can see that the standard fields which are system created add created by system id and all these things are by default available for every table okay so i will select the system id first and then the entry number which is the primary key of my table then this date time and this customer number okay the reason i have selected this system id is because uh this is something which is you can say which will survive the rename operations as well okay although primary key will uniquely identify your record but since you can change your primary key as well okay with the rename operation so in that sense that is also vulnerable whereas the system id is something which will not change even when you change your primary key via rename operation so for the api things this thing this field is very very important so now there is one more property which uh, we have to add here in the api pages and that is o data key field in our case it will be system id only okay so these are my pages now uh, this is my api page and now i i am ready to publish the same so first of all let's build my project and now i am ready to publish it so let's click on run and run without debugging 
so this will publish my extension to my business central environment and the best thing is as soon as we get public this extension gets published this api page will not be available or will not be accessible via web client okay so you cannot access it via web client whereas you can access this page via power automate power bi or any other third party system through which you want to access the data of these particular objects right so because that is the use of the api page now it is publishing my extension so let's wait for the dashboard okay so this is my customer list now let's see whether my customer log page is currently available okay so it is available here and currently it is blank right and i don't want to manually insert any data into it we will insert the data here via power automate so now the next thing is to go to your power automate and this time we will create a new flow okay and it will be automated cloud flow let's name it custom api test uh, i think let me refresh it first of all because uh, it should also get access to my new api page as well so let me refresh it and now i'll create automated cloud flow and custom api when a record is created in the customer table okay so let's search this and this is my trigger which i want to select when a record gets created so now in this i have to provide the information the environment is bc22 test then the company it will be Kronos AU then the API category and now you see you can see here the API category which are these already available right but along with it you can see that new my custom API which we have created in our extension it is also available so go digit was my API publisher then this uh, the name of that API and the version of the API is already available so if I want to access my custom API I have to select this API category right now I will select version 2.0 because for this trigger uh, my requirement is when the record is created in the customer table then only I want to create the data in this particular API so let me select the version 2.0 here and then select the table which will be the customer okay and now click on new step and here once the data gets created we want to get that record so click on this and get that record and here quickly let's select the environment again the company the api category v2.0 the table name it will be customers right and then the row id this is the one so that's it like i have created my record in my business central and then i will get that record and now the final thing and the final thing is again i need to search business central and i have to select the same thing create record because i want to create the record in my custom api custom table so select the environment company but this time i will select the category is my go digit one so i will select that now as soon as i select this one it will show me the list of all the api pages which belongs to this particular category okay so our ones is cust logs so let's select that right because if you see here this is my entity name cust log so it is available there so let's select that one and now it is giving me the fields 
uh, of my table in which I want to insert some particular data okay so entry number is coming up here although if you see uh, entity number in the table I have already selected the auto increment as true so I don't need it okay so I don't want to input anything here but in the entry date time there is a thing called utc now function in the power automate which will give you the current date time okay so you have to go to the expression then you have to type utc now and it will give you the particular date and time and information there okay so let me click on okay the expression is invalid wait Mm. right okay so entry date time will be utc now and the customer number will be my new customer number which gets created in the business central okay so let's just save it and uh, we are ready to go okay so let's okay it is saying something let me check on flow checker there is a problem with this flow trigger it hasn't been triggered successfully in the last 20 days okay no problem it's just a normal warning let's come here and go back to your business central and let's create a new customer okay and uh, Okay, fine. So let's say test customer. That's it. I've got the number and the name and just close the page and it will. Okay, it is currently doing some stuff. I My business center is running slowly, I think. Let me select on customer again and see whether my new customer gets created or not okay so it is there c0026 test customer okay fine so let's see whether my lock table now have the data or not so type here customer lock select this got it so i have got my entry number the entry date time the customer number c0026 which i have just created here right so let me create another one and okay okay another test just go back and let's see the log table customer log okay currently I think let me refresh it although no need but maybe the flow is running at that particular time so let's see again although we can see the status from the power automate as well we will do so but first of all I want to check the records here so type here customer log and yeah we got our new record as well here entry number 2 C0027 and that you current universal time coordinates right so this is the way through which you can use your custom objects as well in the power automate and do all sorts of operations like posting the data into your new new object fetching all the data from your new object and use something else so you can do all the all sorts of stuffs uh, with your custom objects right so that's the part which I wanted to share in this today's video next week uh, we will learn about one function one uh, one action which is called user control okay uh, not exactly user control but custom control you can say uh, because uh, Microsoft uh, in the business center have already given this thing that we can now write the code with uh, our flows which we will create in the power automate screen we just need flow id and uh, flow environment id 
and we can access we can run these flows directly via code uh, directly uh, from the vs code right we can configure them and we can allow the user to manually uh, click on that button uh, and it will run initiate that flow from here in the power automate okay so we will learn that in the next video till then thank you very much for watching my video and in case you like it please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel thank you so much